welcome back to ui builder video series and in the last video we understood that how we can define our evm data source and uh, then we understood that how we can map that uh, data source field to our template uh, that how it should be visible on front end uh, that json file so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bind that evm data source and the template to our uh, ui components so to do that we want to change some configuration on this page. So guys, if you remember in last videos, what we did is that uh, we add a visibility uh, script, okay, on this cat item that if there is no society in the context, uh, in the URL context, then uh, it should uh, hide this uh, cat item uh, component. So uh, let's add one more. So uh, here I'll do is data set. So I will click on this one and uh, in data set, I'll, I'll call it as catalog item list. Okay, I'll save it. Again, in this visibility, I want to provide a script. That is my API.contacts.props.society. So if it is true, so if there is uh, no society, if there is a society, then hide it. So basically it is for hiding value. So test value we can have as uh, true and false, but right now we don't want to have it. But let's say test value is true. So if I click on save, so it will show me this catalog. So I'll select it none. Now, uh, we will come on to this data one later on. So here, what I want is uh, show grid and toggle list. I'll show it uh, what is the meaning of this one. But here, I want to show it as a grid layout. And uh, let's have it small. Let's have it medium. Let's change it to five. And let's say if I don't have any kind of uh, component here, no catalog items to display. Okay, that is, so I'll save it. Let's give it a quick styling. Uh, let's add some margin from this box. That is, let's say top 20 px. Save it. So once we are done, I need to add a data source uh, here. So I'll select uh, evm. Evm data source will add. And as soon as I click on evm uh, definition, it will show me all the EVM data source definition that we have created in our platform. I'll select my catalog item. If all our configurations are correct, that we didn't pass, then uh, you should see a composite data view, something like this. So here in under items, you see that uh, we are getting template, we are getting our properties that we have, and we are also getting our click action. So that navigation click action. So uh, before even doing that, one of the best practice that I follow, I always uh, rename my data brokers. So what I'll do is that I'll say evm catalog item list. And here again, evm catalog item list, I'll apply, I will save it. So most of the configurations uh, are done. So what we need to do is we just need to map this evm data source this data uh, resource broker back to our uh, data so data set uh, data component so here what i need to do is i click on uh, database context dynamic binding screen and here i'll say uh, data and you see that uh, i have this evm catalog item coming up so i'll just come here till this point okay once i get till this point it will be shown automatically so I will save it. So now all, all of our configurations are done. So I'll just click on open. So you see that if there is a sys ID, then it will present me with that particular catalog, which belongs to the sys ID that is external monitor. But what if, if I remove this? So let's remove it and let's see. So you see that uh, we got a pretty good uh, uh, catalog item list and if uh, 
I can change uh, it to any way. I don't have anything for to filter right now. And uh, I have a pagination here as well. So it is moving me here and there. Though I can make uh, one more column here, but that's fine. So to remove this display and all this stuff, what I can do is that I can say hide filter, hide pagination and uh, save it. I'll again refresh. So my filter is done gone. I still don't have any kind of pagination. Okay. My filter and every other thing is gone. So what I can do is that uh, so these are some quick one. In future series, we also see that uh, how we can add uh, our own components. Okay, so right now I'll just move it back. And uh, if you want to remove this uh, uh, gridding one, so you can turn it off. So I'll save it right now. And that's it, folks, uh, in this video. Uh, in the next one, we gonna understand that how we can uh, modify this EVM template. And if we want to make some changes, we can do that. So till next time, thank you.